Speaking of things we're on top of, NVIDIA. We're on top of NVIDIA. Who wouldn't want to be right now? NVIDIA just spent a cool 40 billy on ARM, acquiring ARM. This deal's been talked about for a while. This is another one where some are speculating it, it may be difficult to get the correct approvals only because you're, jo you're joining forces. Two very influential companies. Potentially tremendous power here mm -hmm. between NVIDIA. I'm not saying that's what should happen. I mean, I think they can do some amazing things together. Obviously, if you're, well, if you're unaware, ARM, this is a company that designs the architecture for chips, chipsets, and then licenses that architecture to various manufacturers, including some of your favorite brands. And then a fee is associated with that licensing deal. Well, of course, me, I get to thinking, man, they got all this uh, amazing property here. They're creating all, all of these designs that we're benefiting from, particularly on mobile. Although, of course, this architecture is going to be in more and more desktop or at least laptop based yeah. computing devices very very shortly but of course the mobile market is enormous and i get to thinking wow nvidia has the wherewithal potentially to actually manufacture these things without the licensing agreement or at least i mean there could be a licensing agreement in place i don't know how they're going to work the inner workings of the two companies but that would be a massive strategic advantage mm -hmm. over those other independent companies who have to purchase these deals mm -hmm. And this is in everything. So the scope of it is enormous. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Apparently, ARM isn't going to be disrupted all that much, not anytime soon. Mm. And that's according to uh, that's according to the word directly from NVIDIA. They're going to do their business the way they do their business. Now, ARM was recently transacted all the way back in 2016. All, not all the way back at all, just a few years ago for $31 billion, but it was SoftBank who bought them. Mm -hmm. SoftBank is big, diversified kind of uh, investment. Uh, I mean, it's huge. I don't even know how much money they're managing, but they got businesses in everything, mobile, internet, energy, robot, business, whatever. Invested all over the place. It's hard to even keep it together. They just made a cool $9 billion in four years, just on this deal. Kind of wild. Mm. Although somehow $9 billion looks small when you look at $40 billion. Yeah. I don't know how that goes. NVIDIA, obviously, uh, leader in GPUs. They go head-to-head -head with AMD. Uh, they haven't really done been able to do much in mobile. This unlocks that. If this mm. thing gets done, it could be exciting. They have the wherewithal. They have the knowledge on the... Definitely on the gaming side. Mm -hmm. And on the hardware side. And on the marketing side. As you mentioned earlier. Yeah. They're big time in marketing. Yeah. So this Compared could be... To its competitors. A really powerful partnership. Apparently, the word is... The word is AI. That seems to be a huge area of focus for... NVIDIA. NVIDIA says it will invest in building a new AI research center in Cambridge where ARM is currently based. Their offices will stay there. NVIDIA is positioning the acquisition as setting up the next stage of AI computing. Both NVIDIA and ARM see opportunities for growth in enabling AI software that can run on ARM chips from those on tiny smartphones to huge servers. So it remains to be seen how they're going to interface, assuming they get all the approvals necessary. However, this is huge news for NVIDIA. It's huge news for ARM and the implications, well, as I mentioned, could be huge. Mm. The implications could be huge.